Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video is going to be another exciting unboxing and it is the unboxing of my best damn book box. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this is the June box and I did receive this box on July 27th so I did get this box pretty much a month late. That's how late it was. However, the owner of this company did suffer a tragedy in the family and she had to go away to be with her family for a few days which is the reason why this box ended up being so late for some of the subscribers and I completely understand and I'm still super excited to have finally received this box. So the Best in Book Box is a bookish monthly subscription box. It usually contains a newly released YA book as well as about four or five little bookish items. It is $39.99 for a box per month. So it is a little bit more expensive than the other popular subscription boxes like Owlcrate and Uppercase. And they also have special edition boxes as well each month for you to purchase separately. And just like Owlcrate, they do have monthly themes and the theme for the month of June was Game of Thrones. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this box. Alright, so opening right up, here is what it looks on the inside. Ooh, it looks really, really pretty. So here is a little letter that we have right at the top. I really like the aesthetic of the seal. It's a wax seal like they use in the show Game of Thrones. It's pretty awesome. So here is the card. I actually really like this. For my last two boxes, they sent out like a regular paper but it was rolled up and I haven't received any cards yet from this box so I'm kind of glad that they decided to make like a little card. And on the back, it just tells you what to expect in the box. I'm not gonna read it because I don't want to be spoiled. But okay, so let's see what we got inside this little black tissue paper first. Oh. Okay, so the first thing that I see is this. I can see glitter all over the inside of this. It looks like it says Dragon's Blood by Once Upon a Wick and I believe these are wax melts and I believe you melt it and it gives like a fragrance. It's almost like candles. I'm pretty excited about this. It smells freaking fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Alright, so the next thing that I see is little magnetic bookmarks. Oh! And look who we have. We have Khal Drogo and Jon Snow. The Game of Thrones is my favorite show of all time. I recently binge watched the whole series after watching the sixth season because that's how obsessed I am. I absolutely loved the TV series and I know a lot of you out there also love the TV series. Jon Snow happens to be my favorite character in it and I'm so glad I got a little magnetic bookmark with him on it. And it says it. this was made by Nerdy Girl Design. Signs. All right, and then the next thing that I see is this. It looks like it's a mother of dragons, and it looks like it's a wooden magnet. I lied. This is not a magnet. I thought it was because of these little things right here, but according to the card, this is actually a coaster, so that's pretty cool. I probably won't use it as a coaster. I probably just display it on my bookshelf. As some All right, and then the next thing that I see is this. And and it looks like it's a pen and it just has a picture of Khaleesi the mother of dragons and the next thing that I see <gasps> is a necklace guys I'm so excited I love bookish jewelry or all right so here is the necklace and it is a dragon and it's on this leather cord I like the leather cord oh my god this is so freaking cute I love it all right so the next thing on the box I see actually a lot of bookmarks. So here is number one. This is a bookmark of Jon Snow. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I love this. Here's another bookmark. It says The Bad Seed by Michael Lackey. And on the back there's a quote. And it says the light shines the brightest when the world is at its darkest. Ooh. And here is the art print I guess that I got. And it says Long Live Solaris. And it's Crystal Crowned. Uh, book 5 of Air Awakens. So this is kind of 
like a postcard of this new book that's coming out. Alright, so the last thing that I see before we finally get to the book is an art print of Khaleesi. I love Khaleesi. She's pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Just amazing. And I really, really like this art print. It's absolutely gorgeous. Alright, so that was the last thing right before we get to the book. And I like that they kind of covered it up with tissue paper so we don't know what it is. But let's see what we got. Oh guys, oh guys, <laughs> it's a book that I already have. It's The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. So The Crown's Game is a historical fantasy book and it says Vika can summon the snow and turn ash into gold and Nikolai can see through walls and conjure bridges out of thin air. They are enchanters, the only two in Russia and with the Ottoman Empire and the Kazakh threatening, the Tsar needs a powerful enchanter by his side and so he initiates the crown's game, a duel of magical skill. The victor becomes the imp imperial enchanter and the Tsar's most respected advisor. The defeated is sentenced to death. Raised on a tiny island her whole life, Vika is eager for the chance to show off her talents in a grand capital of St. Petersburg. But can she kill another enchanter even when his skills cost to her like nothing else ever has? For Nikolai, an orphan, the crown's game is the chance of a lifetime. But his deadly opponent is, for is a force to be reckoned with. Beautiful, whip smart, and imaginative. And he can't stop thinking about her. And then there's Pasha, Nikolai's best friend and heir to the dome also starts to fall in love for the mysterious enchantress. Nikolai must defeat the girl they both love or be killed himself. As long buried secrets emerge threatening the future of the empire, it finally becomes dangerously clear that the crown's game is not the one to lose. It sounds amazing. I actually, even though I have this book, haven't read it yet. It's on my huge TBR pile. As with the last time, I got another book that I already had in the same box, the best damn book box. I will be doing a giveaway since I already have this book. And all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. That's really important because this is a giveaway to thank my subscribers. And all you have to do is comment down below some advice for me as a booktuber. What do you want to see more on my channel? Do you want to see more book review, more tags, more fun little bookish, I don't know, skits? I don't know. Just give me some ideas down below. Or if you think that I'm doing something that you already like to see, but you think that I could do it differently, let me know down below. Tell me how to make my channel better. I would love some advice and you guys are the ones watching me, so let me know what you would like to see. Now, as with my other giveaway, I will be choosing the winner completely randomly. I use a website called random.org and I just input everybody's names and it will automatically choose a winner for me. I will have the set date of when the giveaway ends down in the description below. Alright guys, so here is a quick overview of everything that I received in the Best Damn Books box June box. I got the wax crumble. I got a pen with Khaleesi on as a picture. I got magnetic book bars of Cal Drogo and John Snow. And I also got the awesome necklace with a dragon pendant. I got a coaster of a dragon's egg. I got a bunch of bookmarks. And I got this amazing, amazing art print of Khaleesi and her dragon. And and of course, I did get the book, The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. I am pretty happy with this box, despite the fact that it was a month late. And despite the fact that I already have this book, everything in this box was so, I was so completely, completely satisfied with. I love everything that I received. And of course, you guys will be getting something out of it too, which one lucky winner will receive this awesome book. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i hope to see you guys on my next video have a good day guys and keep reading bye